What's up guys, I'm Ryan Guzman and thank you for watching Hollywire. What's up Hollywire, I'm Christina here with Ryan Guzman. So thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. We're gonna play a game. Let's play it. We're gonna play rapid fire questions. So I'm just gonna ask you some questions and you're gonna rattle off your answer. Okay. Something you can't leave the house without. My, my phone. All right, makes sense. First thing you do when you wake up in the morning. Get slapped by my son. <laughs> <laughs> Unwillingly. Yes. Favorite social media app. Uh, Instagram. Okay, go to Happy Dance Move. Ooh, I got too many. I don't know. Let's I see it. one. Uh, I would I would need the music. It's music inspired, to be honest. So I don't know. At that point in time, it could be. What do I do? Uh, I do oh, you know what? No, I gig. So Sacramento and the Bay Area's got this kind of like hyphy movement type thing. Okay. So I gig. So like, yeah, yeah. This the this dance. Like, if you want to like, you know, <laughs> they don't know that about that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite emoji? I go gifts. I you, do, you, you do gifts, not a really emoji yeah, I, person. I, I, uh, uh, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Something you're really bad at. Ooh, uh, admitting I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Being stubborn. Maybe it's the Virgo in you. It's most definitely. Yeah. Favorite place you've ever visited? Bora Bora. Yeah. Yeah. And then your hidden talent. Uh, got a couple actually. I paint. Paint. I wow. Know, I write poems. I write short stories. I, I, I'm very like artistic kind of. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You play a firefighter on 911. It's, it's pretty cool, actually. It's it's like being a little kid again. You know, you usually the little boys grow up trying to be a, a police officer a firefighter or, you know baseball player or something like that and popping into that outfit and actually going into fire and actually like you know being a part of this this whole you know thing that we got going on for first responders is just it's insane that's awesome so if you could rescue any female celebrity from a building that was burning down who would it be Cristiani Lopez <laughs> Pink Power Ranger. <laughs> I saw on your Instagram that you have a large hat collection. So what's the story behind all your hats you have? Do you have favorite hats? How do you decide what hat you're gonna wear? The story behind all the hats and shoes is being broke most of my life, you know? I had $27 when I came out here, living in a one bedroom of five guys, driving a Grand Caravan that smelled like fish. <laughs> Nobody wanted to talk to me, so I was right. like, as soon as I made it, I was buying everything that I needed to buy to make me feel sufficient. But now, looking back at it, I only wear like five or six of those 20 million hats. Right. And like five or six of those shoes. Everything right. else is just for show's sake, and I'm just like, it's cool to have. Yeah. Yeah. So when you came out here, did you come out here for acting or modeling, or did you know what you were coming out here for? You're just like, I'm going to LA. I just needed a change of pace. Sacramento was kind of offering the, the environment that I needed to grow in. I felt myself like going back into old habits that were detrimental. I don't know, but I opened up to many people. Like back in the day, I didn't, I didn't say anything about my feelings. I didn't talk to anybody, blah, right. blah. So acting was like a way of just being like, I can say this stuff now because I'm playing a different character. Right, you felt more comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't care because I was like, who's gonna judge my other acting? Like, I, I don't like. You can't go and see a play that I've been in or like right, any TV right. show. Like, my first thing was Step Up. I had to learn how to dance and act at the same time. And people think that I was a dancer before, so I was like, cool. I just. But did you my really dance. learned to dance. Month and a half of training. Actually, it was a month and a half of auditions. So it was ten auditions, trying to prove that I can actually act and then <laughs> dance on top of that. And then it was about a month and a half, two months of nine hours every single day of training with the most professional dancers out there that I, I still call my family. And then three hours additionally at night because I would videotape it and go over it at night. So I was getting no sleep. It was 12 hours every single day. You and your fiance, Christy, are very into working out and fitness. Like what are some things that like your favorite workouts or things that you love to do to stay in shape? She's a little different than I because she has her own program and her own app and it's, you know, her own body by Christy. It's like, if you want, you want a Brazilian booty, that's all you, you go Me. over to her. Yeah. 
<laughs> talk to her. She's got you. But if yeah. you want to fight, then you come to me because I'm all about MMA. I've got my own gym in my uh, garage. Invite fighters whenever they want, or I'll go out to my fighting camp or my fighting gym out in uh, Monrovia and spar with whoever. Whoever wants to throw hands, whoever wants to actually fight, that's how I keep the weight off. Right. How I kind of stay in shape. Okay, well, you act, you model, you're into MMA, you're into all this stuff. If you were to choose one, like, what do you necessarily prefer out of all these passions and interests you have? Fighting. Fighting? Like, if I could be a UFC fighter right now and still make the money I'm making as far as an actor. Right. Yeah, you're about I, that. I'd, I'd be in the office. Fly you to Vegas, time. right? Yeah, that's how my girl caught me, actually. She's. She knows that my like one Achilles heel, if I'm having a bad day, just let me fight. Just let me go out into the octagon and let me like spar. That's my life. I, I love fighting. That sounds bad actually. Now that I'm <laughs> saying that, like I'm a lover to be honest. Like yeah. really, yeah, yeah. But fighting is like just an outlet. Thanks, Brian, for coming in and uh, we'll see you next time at Hollywire. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>